something that I was a little bit disappointed about recently was I downloaded the Radiohead record. Um, I signed up, I got it the day that it came out. And I got this record and I put it in iTunes and I listened to it, it's great. But a very disappointing thing was there was no cover art, you know? I'm still interested in seeing cover art, even if it's in iTunes or it's in my iPod, you know? I still want to, you know, it, it brings me a little bit closer to the band. It's less just this thing, you know, as opposed to being, you know, something that I, I, I have a relationship with. And I think cover art helps to do that. Um, so I still think it's important, you know, with iTunes or online music to have some sort of visual representation. I know it's a little tiny space, but I still think it's important, you know, a visual representation of that music. Um, with traditional retail, it's, it's obviously it's an incredibly important. And I think, you know, if you're talking with a designer who is just looking at a, a CD cover, you have to be a little bit careful with designers because I think they're just looking to create something that's cool. But if you're looking at a cover art uh, from a marketing standpoint, there's a couple of things you got to be aware of. If a CD is sitting in a bin, um, you're only going to see the top third of the CD. And if people are looking through a bin at a record store, they're probably looking quick. Um, if you're a new artist, you're probably going to be in the general section. You know, you might be. You know, my band P. James Magic Show would be in general P probably because I haven't made it enough to have my own bin card. So you want people to be able to see that right away. So cover art, you're going to want your band name and title in the top third just so people are skimming it. You know, I think it's, I think it's really important. I think, you know, still with CDs, you know, it's still the, the, the primary way that people are listening to music, although that's going to change. It's still the format right now. I don't recommend cheaping out on the booklet. I think you should have something in there that helps to create that emotional connection with your fan. You know, you should have some, you know, if it's lyrics, if your lyrics are really good and that's what you want your fans to know you about, I would have the lyrics in there. Um, you know, I would just give anything I can, you know, some photos, some, something that helps to create, uh, to, how do I say this, that helps to remove the barrier between the band and their fan. I think that music does speak for itself and I think you can hear something and be moved by it. Um, and I think for many people, they would hear something, be moved by it, and want a little bit more. So I think that more can be on the cover or on the, you know, the rear card where I see a little photo of somebody, you know, and it's going to want me to investigate them further. It's going to want to make me, uh, you know, look at their website. You know, it's going to want to make me tell people about them. It's all about the emotional connection you have with your fan. Uh, so while the music is number one importance, of course, there should be a little bit more, and I think cover art is a way to do that, or your package is a way to do that.